Hi everybody, this is your host Nino and it is a marvelous pleasure to me to announce that I am no longer in jail. <laughs> and with that I mean behind carrier grade nut on IP version 6. See, just seriously, I... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm apparently getting messages now, yeah? Yeah, answer with just one ping, Vasily. So, anyway, where was I? I did have an IP version 6 address on my mobile phone network, but it was not allowing outside access. This seems to have changed. Yeah, the Soviet Navy must be after me right now. Anyway, uh... <laughs> It is, however, accessible as of today, or the present point, or whenever it was, because I guess I'm late to the party. But if I now go on Termux and simply start an old-fashioned HTTP server, then if I go on Chrome, and I have conveniently emailed myself that link already and put in the link. Yeah, that link that I copied. Yeah, paste this plain text, okay. Then, ta-da! I do happen to get a directory listing. So this is indeed working. The devices are on two different networks. So this is truly going across the internet. This is not just somehow working at home. One little note I would like to give you is this is the address format. So the IP version 6 address, which uh, is unmemorizable and really looks like a Windows XP registration key, uh, <laughs> is, is just starting with a square bracket and then in the end ending with a square bracket and then you have the column and then you get the port. And not every browser seems to understand or have such a notation. Some are just simply requiring to input the address and that's it and you can't give in a port. So in case this doesn't work for you, then don't be surprised. This is not the fault perhaps of the setup, which is simply an issue with the specific browser. Now, isn't that a thing of beauty, huh? That means your device is fully accessible without any fuss like port forwarding, VPN with uh, port forwarding, or all these other uh, tricks uh, which one needed to use so far more, 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 more commonly. But while this is indeed enjoyable, what could possibly ever beat the beauty and fascination of actually transmitting information over Morse code? As in, for instance, uh, what shall we say? Hello there. Hello there. Um, Dear YouTube viewers and greetings to the submarine hunters. Okay. This worked perfectly, <laughs> or, or nearly so. Huh? <laughs> I don't think IPv6 can ever replace the fun of doing it that way. In case you would like to do that too, I am using an app called GG Morse app. I absolutely love it. And thanks for joining. And for me, goodbye.